800 pound um, the white elephant in the room that people don't like to acknowledge. And it's zoning. Why am I talking about zoning? Because I'm talking about everything in Chapter 8A. Do not think that I am talking about zoning, either recommending for or against zoning for Mineral County. Any decision about zoning for Mineral County will have to be made by the County Commission upon the recommendation of the Planning Commission. And I, can, I will say that zoning works in some places and has not worked in others. The idea behind it is regulating land use. In theory, it would help to alleviate the situation that Cohen was describing earlier. In theory, because obviously in Allegheny County, when they had that, it didn't because they were granted a variance. And it's one of the, you know, variances are good things because they let you do things that we would otherwise wouldn't be able to do. Because they, they introduce common sense into the process of regulations. <clears throat> this time I have been a little too much common sense. I'm not familiar with the situation. But in general, you know, th there are good things about not having, you know, zoning is not as strict as some people make it out to be. It's not as flexible as others would like it to be. But the regulate, you know, regulating land use, there's three things mentioned. First thing in that chapter, adopt a comprehensive plan. You're in the process of doing that. Work with the planning commission, this is, you know, governing body, I mean county commission, um, in this case, and the public to develop a zoning ordinance. So the impetus really should come from, you know, from if you take this literally, the county commission would have to have the idea for a zoning ordinance. They have to work with you and the public. If there, if that's going to be done, it's not something that should be done in a dark room, back room. Not something like, oh, uh, Jefferson County got zoning or Hardy County got zoning. We'll just take their ordinance and approve it. No, you want to work with the public. You want, you know, if you're going to do something that's going to affect people. You're supposed to do it right and do it where they have input and it's in front of transparency. It's like they like to say transparency where people can see what's going on. And the third step is to enact the zoning rules. And again, the governing body, the county commission does that. You make a recommendation on such. Now, a couple of key points is that a county zoning ordinance can cover the entire county or part of a county. It may be decided there are certain parts of a county in which additional regulation is needed because of growth and or potential for growth. That is acceptable to create zoning districts. Now, you don't want to do it just for one property. You can't say, oh, Colin's building some de retirement development. We're going to zone him. And no, actually, I'm using a real example here, but I mean, just that would be called spot zoning, and that usually does not survive court challenges. But if you're going to zone, you know, half the county, he just happens to be in it. And I'm not advising that. Again, this is hypothetical. Then that would be okay. Or if you're going to, you know, create districts which encompass multiple properties. You know, if, if it's defensible, you can create small places. That's the approach Montgomery County has taken. Created multiple dis planning districts. And then they've gone and, you know, okay, propose their own zoning regulations for those districts. A municipality may adopt, by reference, a county zoning ordinance. Say you put together a county zoning ordinance, and Elk Garden decides they want zoning. I, I'm just being hypothetical. <laughs> it can say that, yeah, you know I am. I'm just, but you can say, okay, that's going to be the zoning ordinance. That we're going to adopt the county zoning ordinance. Now, Mike, in the past, you had mentioned through all the comprehensive plan meetings we've had that you thought that there might be places in the county that would be. I, I said to have potential for. I mean, South. I mean, if you're going to look at places that that might, you you know, look at where the, you've got large. I mean, you have development, and you don't have a municipality. South of you know, South Kaiser, Fort Ashby, and there's another sense of fine place that's escaping me. Would be some of the first places you may want to you know, think about. Um, and, and again, of creating zoning districts. But again, if you're going to do something, I mean, planning districts, I, I misspoke, not zoning districts, planning districts, because um, then they would have their own little say and they would decide what they would want. It would be a bottom up process. And they may decide, we want zoning. Or maybe decide, we don't, we the heck don't want anybody to mention the Z word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
but that would have to be a local decision. And it's, you know, again, you got to get people involved. I mean, I'm now hearing it bubbling up from people in crowds. Ten years ago, I literally would be afraid of getting my head handed to me in a platter, mentioning zoning. So it's not the, the quite the bad word it was before, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily appropriate for all places. But those are the type of places where you've got development and got continuing development, which are outside of municipalities, usually often adjacent to them, where you've got a large number of people having moved into and don't have a municipal structure, are places where potentially you may want to think about creating planning districts, which could explore the possibility of additional regulations such as zoning. Like around the industrial park. Yeah, I, that, I'm not, uh, yeah that, that's, a, that's another possibility. But again, you want to make it big enough so that you don't, like just, just zoning the industrial park would not be a good idea. Right. And again, that, that, that would be spot zoning, just like, you know, zoning your, I mean, the development that you are talking about. When you know zoning, it, I, again, the same type of language and talked about in planning in general. General welfare, health, safety, comfort, morals. Also talk about things like adequate light, air, conveyance of access, safety from fire, flood, and danger. Some of these things come in the the reason for this language dates back to things that happened in New York in the 1860s. In New York City. I mean they had places where people, I mean, 20 inch hallways. I couldn't fit through those. I mean, buildings where you know you had no air coming in. So a lot of those regulations, it's very the, the sounds. You hear people talk about building bulk. It's a very spe specified language, and it dates back sometimes. You know, zoning is 80 plus years old. Constitutionally, it's even older than that. So some of the la and some of the language is a century old. But the concept can be as with some of the newer mechanisms, be very fresh. It can be very good, be very poor, again, depending on how it's done. Um, 